Because if you can see, I'm using a different camera right now. And I just wanted to know, like, not, don't count this because I'm in a dark area right now. But do you prefer this camera or the regular camera that I use? Yeah, go ahead and leave that in the comments. Hello, YouTube, it's your boy Caviar Kicks coming back with another video. This is just going to be a quick recap of my pickups from this weekend. And then also, I'm going to get. I think last the video last video I put up I said it was some stuff I I purchased and I'm just waiting for it to get here so I'm gonna get into those real quick first. Mm, so first one, uh, start with these right here. I mean, like y'all probably seen these already. It's not really too much. I'm not gonna go too much for viewing these. But put in for these on the sneakers app, didn't get it. And you know what I mean? How, you know how it goes sometimes. At the cold one of the cold, cold one of your homies in the sneaker world to look out. And here it is. So it's these I so it's a delayed pickup. You can see as you can see ten and a half. You can read the color code, but it is it's uh, Air Jordan 1. Retro High OG Black Starfish Pale Vanilla. I mean, so start with that one. Nothing special, you know, just the Shatter Backboard 3.0. I mean, this is the shoe, like, I don't know, I'm still mixed reviews. Only like, like, a lot of people don't like it. I mean, it's a cool shoe, something, something for the collection. It's my first Shatter Backboard. Actually, my second Shattered Backboard, the first one that could actually fit me, the first one I got was, I think it was the Satins, but I could only get it. It sounds like I didn't, didn't fit me at all, but luckily, luckily it, was, it was a size good enough for me to get and trade for something else. So, yes, so that's the first. That was um, last Saturday's pickup. Then trying to figure out which side of this box is not going to show my damn address, and it'll be this side. Yeah, that side right here. This is up. So these again came out the same day with the shattered back book. These right here probably going to be a surprise for y'all because I, I don't I think all my in pre, in a previous video I said like this is a shoe that I probably wouldn't. I probably would never buy because of the price point unless they did something that I really, really liked and then they did something that I really, really liked. So, technically, going back on my word, but, but well, didn't go, did go back on my word. It's, I said if they did it, I would do it and they did it, so I did it. So, I mean, as you can see that, this one is easy 700. Again, 10 and a half. Color code. Just tea blue. Well, it's teal blue, but just realized this says tea blue. Okay. So to get into these right here. Before I get it, do go. Okay, so that's all right. Yeah, so I mean. These joints, like I, when I seen the, the pity of them, I liked them. They kind of reminded me of, uh, those sneakers aren't up here right now. But they kind of reminded me of the, like, I can't remember the shoe, but it, the shoe right now. But like, and then actually in here, and then that, that's what I say, like the thing that I don't, I don't like really, my one issue is I don't, they, with their pictures, like, like on camera, like on, on the pictures on the on the uh, website, and when you see all the mock-up pictures, they look different. And it went to the actual color when it when you actually get it. But I'm seeing it got a little bit of the 3M over here on it. On these again, it's my first pair of 700, so I really don't know. 
I, I have no point of reference with these, but what I do like, it do it, they do come with an extra set of laces, which is, for, I guess, the first time I, they've done these. Like, their technique for putting the extra set of laces kind of, they could do a little bit better, like, with how Nike does the lace bag. Well, Jordan Brand does the lace bag and whatnot. And, yeah, they all they did is stuck the lace in, in the, in one little aglet, eyelet, whatever they call it, and that's it. That's the extra pair of laces. But all in all, it's a dope shoe. I like it. I mean, so that's that. Then, now go, moving into the weekend pickups. Let me just get these boxes out the way. Well, that box up. I mean, I don't, didn't know which one I was going to do first, but I guess I'll start with these, keeping it in the um, actual, like, it's sneakers, actual sneakers and stuff. See, you got those, the Jordan 1, OG, no, yeah, OG Fearless, uh, I mean, white, black, university, blue. I mean, like, as you see, what one thing I really like with these, that I like when I seen these, was I like they change the box color. Well, it's a different box because it's all to go with it, that whole uh, pack. This is the only, so far, the one of the only shoes out of the pack that I've seen that I actually like. Personally, honestly, honestly speaking, the mids are cool, but I'm not, a, I don't really do the Jordan 1 mids. So, sadly enough, they're going to have to stay. Again, it'll be like with anything else. I personally am not going for any of the mids, but if they have one that's crazy enough or something that I like enough, I'll pick it up. And then, I mean, you got that paper on there. This has the limits, like fears are often just an illusion. Yep. Get into this. And here we go. I mean, it is just that they got that say that uh what is it like it's that they the UNC blue on the back just like the I have those two somewhere, but I don't know where they are. Where where did those go? Oh yeah, that'll be it. With this patent leather, then they got the red patent leather on the toe. I mean, I mean, like as you see what I'm talking about here with the how they do the extra laces on the with the Jordan ones. Boom, that double pack in the package, so you can get those, put that in the box, throw it in there. Then they got the little little cardboard drink right here. Don't really know what the I mean, it's, again, say the limits like fear are often just an illusion. Well, that just didn't say on that side. It says on that side over there. You know what I mean? Throw that in there. I mean, tuck this back in here. That's the, this is the right shoe. Oh, and I like the, uh, right here you can see the um, Jordan logo. Is now, it's not the regular, like how they normally do it. It's like a... Uh, I don't know what to call it. Like, it's just like a little plastic and a little bubble. Kind of like, that made, the logo's kind of like how they do the, that plastic that they put on the 13s. Except it's just not that holographic kind of thing on there. And then on the on the left shoe, it's just a, I mean, it's a little hang tag here. Get that out. The little hang tags, again, to keep keep that message going across on all, on all of them. Little Wings logo there. And yeah, oh. yeah. Last but not least, are this is a definite first in my first that I ever had in hand. Like I put in for these a couple of times. Me personally, I don't really like the shoe per se, but like I said, sometimes you pick, you got to buy stuff. You buy certain things because it's somebody that might like it enough to trade you something that you really want for them. And without that be with, with that being said, there these here are. Uh, you see this this right here is not my size. Actually, a homie real deep. Let me hold these down so I can just do a quick little. I mean, uh, 
guess I'll get into a quick little review on these, see what I think. I was doing just a quick pickup. I mean, first off, the, this, I, first off, I'm going to say this box is extremely heavier than most uh, sneaker boxes I've ever held in my life. It's by far the heaviest. I don't know if the camera's on picking it up, but right there on the front, this says Fair God right there. Now, I mean, the color code on these are Multicolor String Oatmeal. Nike Fair God 1. I mean, let's try to get this out the wall for there real quick. <coughs> then you got the, the... Oh, just a... Like a nice, like a shop, a shopping bag. It says if it got on there. It's, a, it's pretty, pretty good quality bag, actually. Surprising. Now, well, that's, uh, I get a little, with the price they pay for these shoes, they better have very, it better be good quality stuff. And like I said, this ain't, ain't my pair, so. But it feels like it's an extra pair of laces and maybe a hang tag in this bag. If it, if, any, if anybody know what's in this, go ahead and let me go ahead and let me know. I said like I said this is my pair, so therefore I can't I'm not gonna open it. Well, they they wouldn't fit me anyway because because depending on how I like the sneakers, then maybe I could open them and you know. But yeah, some in here. Just gonna call that the mystery bag for now. And then you have the shoes. I mean, that's how the shoe comes pack packaged. And these little silver space bags. And trying to figure out how to. Uh, and I don't, I don't know, like. This is so. I on first look, I can honestly say this thing looks like a space boot. I don't know what the. Like I said I, it was nothing. I really was looking to. Oh yeah, it looks like a space boot, but for the fashionable astronaut, I guess. Like I'm trying to figure out where all the weight. Thing from her shoe, cause like by itself the shoe doesn't feel all that heavy, but it's pretty simple. It's a pretty simple design. They got this a zipper back here. I guess it's like to make it a little bit easier to get your foot into. That's yeah. Like I said, it's not my pair, so I can't really do go too do too much with it. But yeah, yeah. You got this translucent, so you can see it's some kind of foam material underneath it that's in between the um between the sole and this and yeah you can see it's some kind of foam material in between that's you can see it through the translucent this this bottom rubber piece and they got that that clear where the air unit would normally be with the see the Nike check at the bottom there. Honestly speaking it's not really a bad shoe per se is it something that i i, I don't think it's something i'll wear personally and and looking looking at the shoe up close now i, I don't know if yeah. this weight is extra soft actually but i don't know if the to me that See, like those, the, there's some, for the price, the, the amount of glue, where you can see the glue on here is just astronomical. It's a cool shoe. Price is crazy for what you're getting. But, you know, I mean, you like, people like, you like what you like. Yeah, looking at the shoe, I really, like, it's, I don't know, like, I kind of see the appeal in it, but at the same time, my personal taste is like, I'm not. I don't see a person, but I can see where people could see an appeal in there. But I'll probably have to just go do more research on the shoot to kind of see like what the idea the, behind the design is. But let's see. I'm just check what 
We have right, the left shoe, let's see if there's anything different with the right shoe. I seriously doubt that it is going to be anything really different, but yep, like I said. I mean, the, you know, on the insole, 610, 24, 25. You can see some of airfare guard. Okay, that's just the size back there, then it's. No, it's not, it doesn't say nine, nine, nine. Yeah, like these joints came out November 2nd. So I like, literally it was picked them up, put them in the car, and today the third is when I finally took them out for the review. And I don't I don't know what it is with the, what the material is here, but if you can see right there in that corner, you can see where it's like kind of like pre-creased there. So I don't know if that should sound like these shoes gonna be prone to excessive creasing or what, but yeah, but I don't know. It's a decent design, but the amount of glue stains on this and 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 actually like if you know if you guys know me like glue stains is something I very rarely even care about to, to mention. But when you say pay three fifty for a shoe you would expect them to take just a little bit more care in the quality uh quality control. And you can see like I don't know if that's what it's supposed to be like if you can see right there in the toe at the toe at toe cap right it looks like it's separating up there. But I don't know. Well let me see some this being a shoe with a similar price price point that was more available than these were because these were highly was way more limited than these were i'm looking at the quality it's like i guess it's more a better the quality control portion was a little bit better with these than it was on these but also one thing i could say with that i prefer on <coughs> for these over the yeezys is they still put stuff in the, in the shoe to protect the toe? Like I don't understand how Yeezys don't don't them shoes don't come with any kind of uh what is it um like a shoe tree or some paper to keep the toe the toe box from collapsing on itself. But yeah, but other than that, these are they're pretty dope shoe. I can see I like I said pretty dope shoe. Not for me. I could see the appealing. I could see the stylishness of it, but it just, I, I guess like, like I could say, like, I, like, I guess I could say it was very much so like the 700s. I could see the appeal of it. The price for me, not now, but maybe they might come with a colorway. Like maybe if they do it and they, maybe they do like another, add another maybe color to it. Make just like a different color. Like starting to, to offset just like the one, like the one, that one bland color, whatever it is. It'll probably be, make it pretty dope. But other than that, cool shoe. Yeah. So yeah, y'all remember like, comment, subscribe. And as usual, y'all be good, y'all be safe, and I'm out. Later.